How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got a new poll from the old school Skate team, so let's go ahead and vote in this poll. This is Old School Raid's Armour Survey. They're running this poll because recently they've polled three sets of armour as potential rewards from raids. They polled them twice and they came somewhat short of the 75% threshold to get into Old School RuneScape. I believe they were sort of between 60 and 70%. So clearly there is a majority of players that think it would be good in Old School RuneScape, however it's not the recommended 75%. So this poll is really a survey to find out what sort of players we are and what we think about the armors. Doing that will allow them to tweak it so that they can get a much better design for these armors and poll them again. So let's start off with question one. How would I describe the way I play old school RuneScape? The options here are PvP focused, PvM focused, skilling focused, questing focused, other and skip question. Well, I'm not gonna skip the question because I definitely have a focus in old school RuneScape. Would I say it's PvP? Definitely not. I'm quite scared of PvP. I feel I'll lose a lot if I try it. And seeing as there's so many great PvPers out there that could definitely kill me very quickly, then I'm avoiding it. Potentially when I'm a max and I have a decent amount of money I can sort of spend on it, I might, but that's a long way away. You could say I do PvM, however, that's mostly for Slayer. I wouldn't say I'm quest focused either. I do love old school runescape quests, however, I don't really think that I should spend time on them right now. I should get my skills up really and I should then do all the quests when I can and I've got time. And that leaves us with the last one, skilling focused, and that's something I just briefly mentioned when I was talking about quests. I would say I am a skilling focused person. My favourite skills are definitely runecrafting, agility and slayer, and I do just do them every time I come into Old School RuneScape. I've not done agility for a while, however, when I do do it, I do quite enjoy it. Question 2. What do I think about the defensive stats of the Elder Armour set? Having a look at the defensive stats of the Elder Armour set, I'm thinking, okay, they look alright. When I then compare it to a piece of armour we've currently got that's quite high tier, for example Bandos, I'm looking at that defensive stats and thinking, it's significantly lower than the Elder Armour. Okay, so it doesn't matter too much if it is lower, because this is going to be a tier 80 piece of armour in game, whereas Bandos is only 65 I believe. However, I do feel that the jump from 65 to 80 is way too much. So personally I think the stats should be decreased. Question 3. What do I think about the offensive stats of the Elder Armour set? Having a look at the Elder Armour stats, I feel that it doesn't really have much of an offensive bonus. It's got very minimal attack bonuses on the head slot, the body slot and the leg slot. However what's interesting is it has a pretty good strength bonus with plus 5, plus 4 and plus 2 respectively. When we compare that to Bandos, it doesn't have any offensive stats, apart from its strength bonus. However, that's a plus 4 and plus 2. In total, that's a plus 6. Whereas with the Elder Armour, in total it's now a plus 11. And I feel that jump from 6 to 11 being one of the better strength options in game is a bit too much, so I'm going to say that should be decreased. Next, question 4. What do I think about the defensive stats of the Twisted Armour set? Having a look at the Twisted Armour set, I feel that it looks like it's got a decent defence bonus. When I compare it to another similar high tier armour set we currently have in Old School Escape, I think of the Armadil Armour, which is tier 70. I feel that its jump in defensive stats isn't actually that much, and I feel that it's just about right, so I'm going to say that should stay the same. Moving on to the offensive stats of the Twisted Armour, looking at the offensive stats of the Twisted Armour, it looks alright. And when I compare it to the Armadil Armour, again I feel it's quite similar. However, what's quite noteworthy about the Twisted Armour is it's the first piece of armour to get a range strength bonus. And it gives quite a substantial bonus when you consider the fact that no other range armours give this bonus. However, seeing as the main offensive bonuses at the top are fine for me, and I think it'll be interesting to see how strength bonus will affect the game, I'm actually going to say these stats should stay the same. Question 6. What do you think about the defensive stats of the Kodai armour set? Looking at the Kodai armor defensive stats, I feel that they look alright. Nothing too bad when you first look at it. When we compare it to say, the Aram's robes, then this is quite interesting. Mostly because the Aram's robes at one point and the Kodai robes were going to be direct competitors with the Kodai being a much more defensive version and the Aram's being a much more offensive version. However, we can still compare their stats and clearly Kodai does have a huge defensive advantage. 
However, I still quite like the idea of having them compete with each other, one being a much more offensive and one being a much more defensive set of armour. So I'm actually going to say that they should stay the same, because I feel that it might be quite interesting to see how that fits in. Question 7. What do I think about the offensive stats of the Kodai armour set? Again, looking at the Kodai armour set, it looks like it's got alright offensive stats. In fact, I'd say the magic and range stats are quite interesting, because the range heavily brings you down and the magic brings you quite high up. When we compare that to the Aram's armour, I feel it's actually quite a big jump. Especially from the original standpoint of when they were going to be competitors, when the Kodai set was going to have a lower offensive stat. So for that reason, I feel that I'm going to say the stat should be decreased. Question 8. What do I think is an appropriate repair cost of the armors? Well, I've been thinking about this, and really the options range from nothing, not degrading, or all the way up to quite a large amount. Personally, I think with them being high tier armors, and really them wanting to specialize them for, I don't know, maybe PvP, PvM, whatever the old school team wants to specialize the armors in, having a higher repair cost will actually increase the value of the armors, making them a lot better reward when you get them in raids. Personally, I'd say that between 100 and 250k would be, you know, where the repair armor costs would be interesting. 100k is obviously quite a bit, and 250k is huge. With the 250k, you'd definitely manage to get a very expensive item that people would use in niche situations. And I'd love that. You could argue that 100k is also quite a lot and would also encourage that, but 200k would do it on a much more extreme scale, and personally I think 250k would be a very interesting repair option, especially with these armors with their current stats being quite powerful. Obviously if they did reduce the stats personally, I would be an advocate for reducing that to probably 100k, or less depending on how much they nerf the items. If they increase them, then I'm definitely going to say more than 200k. But I would never say anything over, hmm, well 250k at the moment, but if there's something that's really powerful coming to the game, I think 500k would be acceptable. Anything over that would just be wild and bizarre. Finally, question 9. Which rewards would I like to see from raids? So would I like the Elder Armor, Twisted Armor, and Kodai Armor? I'm actually quite a fan of the Kodai Armor, and I'd like to see that come into the game. I did like the original thing where they were sort of facing it off between the Aram's armor, one defensive and one offensive like I touched on before. And I'd also like to see what else they could come up with. I'm sure there could be something creative that isn't just armor. However, with Elder and Twisted armor, I'm not that much of a fan of. It will be interesting to see how they progress with it and see what the results of this poll will be for those items. So I'm going to submit my vote and then we can have a look at what other types of players there are and how they think about the armors. There's 20,504 votes in this poll so far, and 54.6%, which is over half, which is amazing, are player versus monster focused, with 23.6 being skilling, 11.4 being PvP, 6.8 being quest, 3.6 being other, and for some reason, 197 people decided to skip the question. Out of those people, 44.9% think that the defensive stats of the Elder Armor should stay the same, with 33.9% actually thinking they should be increased, and 21.2% thinking they should be decreased. So from that, it feels like they're kind of not going to change, because, I mean, there's a lot of people saying it should be increased, a lot of people thinking it should be the same, and a lot thinking it should be decreased. So it balances out to probably being the same. And it looks like it's probably a similar situation for the offensive stats of the Elder Armor. 41% think it should stay the same, 38.5% think it should be increased, and 20.5% think it should be decreased. Potentially a few more people thinking it should be increased rather than the previous question. Going to the Twisted Armor set, 45.5% think it should stay the same, 35.7% think it should be increased, and 18.8% think it should be decreased. The offensive stats of the Twisted Armor is 44.4% think it should stay the same, 36.6% think it should be increased, and 19% think it should be decreased. And again, the Kodai Armor, 44.4% think it should stay the same, 36.5% think it should be increased, and 19.1% think it should be decreased. With its offensive stats, 43% think it should stay the same, 38.3% think it should be increased, and 18.7% think it should be decreased. Which really means the majority of the armors have a few more people thinking it should be increased than decreased, however most of the people think it should be the same, and really that balances out to be the same. Which is probably a bit of a pain for the old school rules get team because they want to know if they should increase or decrease their stats for them to get into the game. 
because it's so close to passing and they've polled it multiple times. Moving on, question 8, the repair costs for these armours. 32.4% don't think these armours should degrade at all. However, what I find very interesting is 26% think you should pay over 200k to use these sets, with 17.2% thinking you should pay over 100k. So I imagine they will actually introduce quite a high repair cost on these armors, despite the fact quite a lot of people thinking they shouldn't degrade. And finally, question 9. 79.5% would love to see something else from raids. 68.8% think Kodai armor should come from raids. 68.5% think Elder Armour should come from raids, and 67.2% think Twisted Armour should come from raids. Which is quite interesting, I feel that if this was a poll for each individual piece of armour, then it would look like none of them will pass, because none of them have got over 75%. However, something else has just managed to pass, but we don't know what that could be, they could design something completely different or something very similar, so it's quite hard to tell. Obviously people want something from raids, and these armors are a good idea, however it's not good enough. Hopefully this survey will help the Old School Runescape team clear that up, and hopefully your and our opinions will help. If you've not voted in this poll yet, please go ahead and vote. This is Old School Runescape, it's a community based game and every single update is decided on by us, the community. Click here to watch my video on the latest Old School Runescape update via Oriana Alta. And if you want to watch my video on the latest Old School Runescape poll, please click here for rewards for rates and quality of life. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep up to date with the old school rooms, give updates, step blocks, and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.